Hi, and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing Attack on Titan. This is season one, episode 22. Last time around, shit hit the fan. Fuck, everything just went wrong. Um, the Titan, female Titan, of course, at first when they trapped it, got away, and we talked about all of that, uh, and this person inside of it got away, and then they transformed again into the female Titan, and... Oh, it was just so brutal to watch them, them go through uh, Levi's squat like that. The, these people that we've just gotten to know in the span of uh, the last four or five episodes. Like, just getting to know these people. And they got wiped out. And Aaron, oh, Aaron, he made a decision, um, turned into a titan and, and started fighting. And that did not... It went as expected, didn't go well, like, because whoever's inside of this female Titan is just better at it at this point in the story. And they defeated Eren and fucking bit him out uh, of, like, the weak spot and mm -hmm. swallowed him right in front of Mikasa. And Mikasa obviously lost it as well and was about, like, in the middle of, like, pursuing... And then Levi came in and was like, no, no, stay back. We're still pursuing, but we're going to observe this shit because we need to regroup and figure out how, how can we better this situation. And Erwin, he's in the same mindset, like we need to think outside of the box now because what we're doing is just failing, even though our strategies are good and we're trusting each other. And it's just, oh, what the fuck is going to happen? Are you ready for this? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's do it. And you can, of course, always check out our full length reactions where you can sync up the footage with your own copy of the episode. We also have early reactions for Attack on Titan, where we are several episodes ahead. It's all over on Patreon, and the link is down in the description below. Here we go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. Before it leaves the forest. Mm -hmm. Well, if anyone can do it, it's these two. Ooh! Ooh. He was just waiting for it to do that. <laughs> He's so fast! <laughs> How the fuck is he doing this? Stop. Because of... Oh, fuck. Twisted an ankle or something? Oh. Oh, it's, he's right there. Boom. Fuck. Leave. Yes, Levi. Leave. 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 <laughs> Yes, go now. Is he crying? Yeah. And it just sat there. It didn't even try to. Wow. Lima noticed. Yeah. <sighs> they fucking got Aaron. I. Okay. I'm not. I'm never gonna doubt. Levi again, that's for sure. No. You, why you gotta do that? Why, why? Why you gotta do that now? Just rub it in. Oh, come on. Fucking... Can you? 
自分がどう死ぬのか自分の最後なんて想像したら多分戦えなくなるから<笑> So rational, アーメン回収不能が5体ほどありましたが、あ、ファーク。一部でも無理か。巨人のせいで回収できないもの以外は、あれならばむしろ持ち帰らない方が遺族のためかと。Oh. 行方不明で処理しろ。はい。回収すべきです。一番の死体はすぐ目の前にあったのに。わがままを言うな。ガキの喧嘩か。死亡を確認したなら、それで十分だろう。一番たちは行方不明として処理する。これは決定事項だ。諦めろ。お二人には。That's not. It's not like they don't care <laughs> at all. That's. They just done this sometimes. Yeah. Is something else gonna happen before they get back? Yep. Oh, they. Oh, they. They actually went back for the dead. So now we have at least two more casualties. See, you f- <laughs> Oh, that's- that's- Well done, Mikasa? Mm-hmm. That was only one? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly what Armin was thinking when he looked at them. And you can't let the dead bodies be more important than the living ones. Although, fuck, it's a difficult decision. Just leave it. You're never gonna understand. の
壁画編成にかかった費用と損害による痛手は調査兵団の支持母体を失墜させるには十分であったエルヴィンを含む責任者が王都に召集されると同時にエレンの引き渡しが決まった Fuck. That was difficult to watch. Good thing we were not watching anymore today because your <laughs> makeup is completely ruined. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's, it's, you can just see the, the, the stripes. The, <laughs> the stripes, yeah. The lines. But yeah, that was episode 22, the last one in this arc here with the 57th exterior scouting mission. It, yeah, we, we talked about how much and it failed and what went wrong and theories here and there. And the, this this episode was more about the casualties and the losses. And and also, I think a, a great deal of it, and, and especially what we got here towards the end of it, was um, people's views on the survey call. And, and, and also even with the people inside of the survey call, their views and like the commanders and, and how it, they think it seems like uh, they don't, they don't care, but of course they do. There's just, as you said, been through this shit so many times, losing people they, they care about and then them coming back to the city and, and people reacting in, in the same way, because they have no idea what's going on outside the walls. They have no idea what, their objectives are and what they're risking and why they are risking their lives specifically they just think that they're just wasting their tax money pretty much like the, the money that they're, they're paying in taxes and that's not easy to listen to and it, it will enrage you just like Aaron got quite mad both there and in, in, in the past and we saw it uh, in, the, in the flashbacks slash dream but but you have to distance yourself from that and, and also understand like from where they're coming from and mm. where you're coming from and then we got this whole perspectives thing again as we talked about in the last one but but yeah you, you did some uh, tear bending uh, for this one how did you what did you think of of the episode episode overall it was tough and i'm a bit of like an emotional uh sponge, sponge yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. so i kind of soak up uh the, the the emotion that is portrayed and mm. i think that what finally broke me was uh my good friend leo who <laughs> said like oh, yeah i just thought he, he handled the situation quite well because mm. uh him and and uh Irvin, with what they were both like, well, we're just gonna say that they're missing in action. These and yes. these five we haven't accounted for. Mm. Uh, they're just gonna be missing in action, and then just leave it at that. And then he, uh, well, these three, two, two people uh, went back and got uh, Ian instead, in, in spite of the, what they said. Mm. And instead of just blowing up and like giving him, like ripping him a new one, yeah, he just said, instead of like taking the, the find, bodies. finding the bodies and yeah. taking them with you, cut out out their uh, the sigil, the em- yeah, the emblems they got on on their yeah. uniforms, just cut it out and and keep it, yes, um, as like a reminder or like yeah. a yeah. Um, Exactly, because that's enough for me, as you yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and I also think, because they've been on these tours or these trips, like, so many times. And I'm sure this specific scenario has been, like, it's been re- reoccurring. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. there's always that one or two person people uh, that want to go grab the bodies and then they lure the some of the titans back with them and they have this whole situation and even more casualties so i think that just it's just like standard now that that's just how they deal with it it's just like okay um it happens that bodies don't come back whether it's because they cannot 
uh, retain or regain them, or it's because they have to get rid of them to get the speed back so they can outrun the Titans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. And and it's they they mention inside of the episode as well, but that usually they don't even get to bring back that many bodies. Mm. Like it's it's a usual occurrence that they don't really have that many bodies mm. to bring back with them at all. This was And this it, proves why. This 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 proves why, yeah. Uh the bodies they can't get to and then the ones that they have to to use to get away from the Titans. Mm. Uh, and, and that is definitely difficult to watch. Like I I I I'll gladly admit I I got quite emotional as well. Uh, maybe not enough for me to tear bend, uh, but and, and the reason why we're saying tear bending just for anyone out there who don't know, it's just an avatar reference um, with the water bending, fire bending, all that tear bending, tears coming out of our faces. But the place that got me closest, uh, I think that was also when they were heading back and when they decided to kind of dump the dead bodies and you could see uh, Petra, for example, being one of them. And yeah, Levi seeing that, you know? Him seeing that, his reaction to him. It, actually, a lot of what almost got me in this one had to do with him and his reactions. His or reactions. Lack of, <laughs> almost lack of reaction, right? Yeah, but you could still see it, even though, you know, it is animated. Uh, and it's not real eyes. You could still see it inside of the eyes in a way. You can see the pain and the yeah. hurt and him, you know, holding it back. And he's tried this so many times and he's just he's gotten into a rhythm to now. It. Yeah, I'm almost, although I'm, I'm sure I don't it's think, still... As, I think uh, Armin said it, right? You'll never get used to you, this. Yeah, this part you'll never get used to. And you will never... Yeah, you will... Mm, it's uh, never gonna be easy no 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 and then uh, as we got into them coming back to the city and, and people fucking yelling at them and also parents why did they have to show us that you know the parents <laughs> being <laughs> like oh yeah. we can't wait for our children to get back and we're making dinner for them and then this father who approached levi and just started talking and talking and talking it's like oh fuck dude Shit, and the people yelling at Erwin, like, what did you accomplish? And what did you do out it there? It wasn't really worth it. Yeah, aren't you, are you just wasting lives now? What the fuck are you doing? And like, they're, I, and I get their reaction. I get why they're getting fed up with it. But it's to be able to shoulder that as like, as Erwin is doing and like Levi, Levi is doing and, and many of them to be, to be able to do that, that takes a lot of strength. But I think, it might be because they they don't think like exactly the same, but I think the main uh, takeaway was then how you carry yourself in defeat, mm. in agonizing defeat is with these kids, right? And that's also why Aaron stopped himself before he started to, to yell at people. Yeah. It was because he saw himself yes. in that kid, and that kid said, Oh my God! They got their asses handed to them, and they still carry themselves. They, yeah, they're still they fighting. This, and, yeah. Exactly, they took this defeat, and even though it was it's a hard one, they're still fighting. Mm. And I just think that's oh, it's so cheesy, but it works. <laughs> it like, works. And we've talked about this before. Like, even though you feel like everything is hopeless, it's yeah. There, it's it's. We should keep fighting, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Even yeah. though we feel like we can't do anything, and we're just taking defeat after defeat after defeat. Yes, and and keep just fighting. keep fighting, keep fighting. Something that Aaron has said uh, as well many times in in this series, and we've seen it in many other stories. Uh, it's used a lot in storytelling. The importance of like you have to keep fighting, even though it seems like everything might be lost. Um, and then we, we got like the last gut punch in the end. And, and it was basically like they just told us um, what then happened when they got back. Yeah. Erwin and, and the others, you know, have to be responsible for what happened. And because of what happened and because it failed miserably, they lost so many people. They had to hand Aaron over to, I'm guessing, the military police. And what do they want to do with him now then? How do they get him out of it? And... 
Oh yeah, I, I think a, a lot then is going to happen in these last three episodes. If in, yeah, let's say okay, they are going to kill him because they don't know what to do with him. The military police. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Was the female Titan then trying to rescue him from that? And when she failed, that's why she cried because mm. she now knows that they're going to go home, and everything is failed. Yes. And Aaron might be executed. Yeah. Might be, might be. It's, yeah, the very interesting part of it as well. And we, we noticed, Levi noticed the female Titan. It seemed like she was crying. It was crying when it failed. And it was just sitting there back against the big tree. Again, it must be someone who knows Aaron, who knows what the outcome might be. And I think you're onto something that it, it wasn't necessarily trying to hurt Aaron. It's trying to save him or at least take him away from this situation. Didn't even swallow him. Like just kept him in, in its mouth mm. as well. Um, and, and making sure that he was protected. Like it was not a scratch on him really. So yeah, I, I think you are really onto something there. <laughs> With there being an ulterior motive. Yeah, so maybe to... they did talk about recruitment, right? That some people want to recruit. Recruit. Titans. Oh, I'm um, maybe that's so far back. That's. Did you talk about it, or who talked about it? Are you saying? Me. Okay. I think it was. No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm. Yeah, There's, it's uh, it's taxing to watch some of this stuff. And even though we, we sort of wish we could binge all of it, and that's probably what we, we, we would be doing if we weren't doing these reaction videos. Um, and then it would also, it's way easier to just plop yourself down in, in a couch or in your bed or wherever and just watch something and you don't have to analyze it and analyze it and talk about it and get those thoughts out like immediately after that that it can be it can be quite taxing to do it like this um so i'm, I'm fine with like so far we're doing a, a small handful of episodes each week but i still feel like we're getting a lot out of that and then we can just let it marinate i know you hate when i use that <laughs> term but yeah think about it um in between and, and come up with some some new theories perhaps but do you have anything else you want to you want to add to this one uh, i was kind of cool to see uh levi i don't think it was like his still no, i don't think it was like his 100 percent. but we did see him oh get yeah a little bit more into like real action this time Fuck, and that fast. was cool yes i really and i'm really starting to warm up to him and me too me too yeah, it just took some time. It, it took a little time, but we're definitely warming up to him right now a, a lot. And, and, and yeah, seeing his, his skills in this one, how fast he is. Even Mikasa was like, gee, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that dude is fast. Um, and then she was just about to make a mistake. And, and he actually had to go out of his way and, and risk himself. Like he, he, he hurt himself there when he, when he saved Mikasa and, and like he strained his angle or something, yeah. whatever happened. But that was cool to see. That was definitely cool to see. And unless you have anything else, then that's going to do it for this reaction and review of Attack on Titan Season 1, Episode 22. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and we'll see you as soon as possible. Bye. Bye.